Hello friends, myself Professor Vinod Pillai, welcome to C programming session. In today's session, we'll be talking about file I.O. in C, that's part 3 of my session. I do hope so, you have already seen the part 1 and part 2 of my session regarding the file I.O. in C. In part 1 and part 2, I have shown you how different ways we can store different data in files, that is storing in the form of structure, storing in the form of integer, storing form in the form of string and different data types. In the last session of file IO in C, I'll be talking about explaining what is how to do random access files in C and showing you an ex simple example how we can achieve this task in the C. First and foremost, you should understand that till now the programs what we have done is a single flow. That means you will create a program in which you open the file, you start from start reading the file from top to bottom. There was no such mechanism we have explained till now in which we can go backwards or go further forwards. We were simply doing the task is like we start the pointer at the first that means we open the file our file pointer is at the first location we start read the first point first value we read the second value we read the third value and we continue this thing till the end of the file. If someone says I want to directly read the last record then how to do that? If someone says I'll say the position and you read particular record from that file how to do that? Or if someone says I want to read the first record then how we can do all these tasks we'll be seeing or we can do such task with the help of random access in C. To do random access in C major three functions are available okay first is fseek, rewind, ftl. I'll explain you with pt show you just a second okay so in random access, fseek, ftl and rewind are the three functions which helps us to do random access operations in files. First and foremost, what is fseek does us? With the help of fseek, you can jump at particular position in the file. So by default, when you open the file, your file pointer is at the first position. Now you want to read the last position value or re last record of the value or you want to read the first record or you want to read f to a particular positions records value in that all cases who will is going to help us fseek is going to help us if any place you want to move the pointer you require to use fseek function second point then what is ftl ftl will tell you the current position where you are currently standing what position you are standing okay i'll be explaining further but it's for the time being let's understand that much rewind what rewind does rewind is something like a normal as the name indicates that is it will take you back to the first location with the help of at any location you are standing you're standing at last position or you're standing in middle of the file pointer file of data or you're standing at any position you want to go back to the first point then you have to use rewind function let's see what else are there now fseek is not that easy as we think so we have to specify some values like fseek takes three arguments argument number one you need to pass him the file pointer in which file you want to do this operation or you, who is knowing the all files related data so whatever file pointer is there you pass the file pointers object second is the offset offset before understanding offset let's understand what is origin then it is quite easy to understand offset also now origin says from as I've told like fseek is used to jump to a particular location okay so origin says from where you want to jump I want to jump from particular location then you have to specify you want to jump 10 steps from where current position or you want to jump from the starting or you want to jump from the last from what position you want to jump that you need to specify it okay if you want to if you want to jump 10 steps forward from the beginning then the origin will be here you have to pass the third argument as 0 if you say where I am currently standing from there I want to jump 10 steps forward then I have to put origin as 1. If someone says from the end I want to jump backwards then you need to specify here 2. So origin can be 0, 1 and 2. 0 is for beginning, 1 is the current location and 2 is the end of the location. Let's go further then what is offset? Offset here you have to specify how much value you want to jump. Here you need to specify values in the form of bytes. So you specify 10 bytes you want to jump, 20 bytes you want to jump and how many jumps you want to do that is need to be specified. One more thing you have to remember offset can be positive and negative. If you say negative value that means you will be jumping but you will not be jumping forward but you will be jumping backward. 
so that is only thing you have to remember if everything goes fine the fc function returns a value of type integer that is of zero zero comes that means everything is fine if non zero comes that means we have generated an error that is all about fc now comes rewind rewind takes only single one argument that is the file pointer you just specify in the file pointer it will tell me take you back to the back to the first position so that is quite easy for us what ftl does ftl returns a long value what is it returns that how many bytes you have already been jumped or current location so what is current location it's going to give it is going to give you the total bytes from the starting point to where you are standing suppose you are standing at 10th position so from starting to 10th position how many bytes values you have already covered that will be given by ftl so ftl value returns a long value so you have to remember that also okay before going to rename and all see right now this thing okay so i hope so i have cleared this thing this all portion where we'll be doing this all task okay now uh, i'll be showing one more things which i have not specified here okay that is already been covered in this video will be i'll be explaining here only that is how to rename and delete the existing database files so i'll be showing you how to rename and delete the files using c okay so whatever the data you have stored in the some database file you can rename the database file or you can delete the database file that code also will be shown to you also okay for timing if you want to see i'll just explain you right now okay for deleting the file you can use remove method and you specify the file name it will remove your database only thing is once you do this you call this function all the data you have stored in the files will be lost unless and until we are very sure you have to be not using this function okay if you're not clear what is it does it will remove the database okay so be careful before using this particular function then comes rename rename is simple you have to pass him the old name what is the file name okay what is the new file name you have to pass okay so whatever things you want to pass the old file name and new file name it will rename that particular file with the new file name and see here also zero is for success and one is for failure this is all about what we are going to cover let's see the example okay in this example is to show this thing you have stored structure into the file okay i'll first run the program and then you'll understand it and i'll explain you later on i compiled it i executed it says like i want to append i want to display let's see how many values are there current so total two records are already been stored in the file that is one is employee id as one and it is having vikas it is having 2000 salary 2 id iasb and 5000 so let's add some values into it so i say one again one employee id as 3 wiki and salary as suppose 99 okay so if i display all now it should show three values so it is been scrolled so you're not seeing it so three records have been there now i want to show these things how to get into the get to the last record first record and all okay so if someone says i want to see the last record first record so i select two so it will show the first record if someone say i want to see the last record so it will show you the last record if someone says a particular position so i say four and it is asking which position second position so it's showing me the second position value so here i am doing i'm moving to first i'm moving to last i'm jumping to particular location these all things are possible in the files because i'm using the concept of random access let's see the code for that we have to be very clear how much how much bytes have been written and all those things so i've used to store the structure structure is here i've created multiple methods i'm not going to explain all of them because uh, i hope so you have seen my previous video and you know how to store structure and all those things so i'll be more concentrating on how to move to first record and last record so get let's start with first record getting to the first record what i'm doing is i'm calling f pointer i'm opening the file i'm here because i have to move to from whatever position i'm not caring about i've just simply say rewind so wherever i am there i just want for the sake of purpose to teach you i have shown here basically if you open the file it will be in the first position only but to just to show you i have used this function okay so anywhere you are there you just simply call rewind function and fp it will take you back to the zeroth position and then you read the file then you print the value and simply close the file so this is how we can use the rewind function to move to the first record now this comes to get into the last record 
if you want to go to the last record you need to jump it that is sure okay so you need fseek function so fseek says where you want to jump who's the file so i say file pointer knows it how much you want to jump that is a question comes i want to see the last record so i say you move to the so two is means what i want to i want to start jumping from the last record only so I'm two means you go to the end of the file now if i say end of the file then i'm standing out outside or i have already read the last record so no that is not the case because i want to read the record also so you have to go to last record and you have to jump one step backwards that's uh, so that at least you can read the last record okay to do that i have to i have to jump backwards so that i put minus sign how much you have to jump a size of a structure so i have size of t so it will jump a step backwards based on the size of a structure so my pointer is now currently standing at the last positions record okay so if i don't specify here if i specify here zero that means i have already read the last record also and i am i'm standing at the end of the file then f read will generate an error okay so f read m percent t now i'm reading the file so i'll get a particular record and i'm printing the data so here this way we have seen the use of fc now let's get into the random position to get into the random position first i have said open the file in the read mode i have asked him what position you want to jump okay second first whatever position then i have said f seek first i need to get an idea where i am standing okay so f seek this position total how many objects are there that should be clear then only i can say you want to jump to second position so i should first clear how many objects are stored into the files to get how many objects are already been stored into the files what i did i jump into the last position i'm saying f seek fp 0 comma 12 2 so it is directly moves my pointer to last position then i say how many bytes are there at the top so say it is having suppose 100 bytes then i'm saying divide the total bytes by one object size that means if one object is taking 10 bytes i'm already read 100 bytes that means total 10 objects are being already stored into the file so this is the formula i get how get an idea how many objects has already written into the file once i get that thing i'll move my pointer back to the zeroth position okay so now pointer is back to the zeroth position then i'm telling that I'm just printing for the t sake purpose just that this many objects are there okay so I want to read a particular position so I'll put a file point for loop I equal to 1 I less than equal to count I plus plus okay I've already know then I'm reading the record so it is reading is going on so whatever position user has said I move into that position okay and I'm just printing the current object is this thing and I'm breaking that thing so that once that particular record is been reached I'll break it I don't need to read further I'll just simply print those records and close the file pointer so in this way we can read any positions value okay now comes the last that is how to rename and delete the file to rename simply I'm asking him the file name you want to rename okay what new name you want to pass in that rename function is being called and I'm calling the f name function and whatever old name is there and I'm taking him the new name okay so it will be taken into that way okay for the sake i have just shown you how to do rename similarly if you want to remove the database you ask him the i'm just for validity purpose i'm asking do you want to make a copy yes or no if he says yes copy i want to make a copy then i make the copy of it if not the case okay then i simply calling the remove and file name it will remove that particular file so you should know that remove function is a uh, quite not being used generally okay if you're very careful before using that function else all the data will be lost okay i hope i've cleared most of the random access methods and how to delete and rename the files in c okay if you have still any queries you can post comments into this video or else you can uh, ask me through email you can find all codes related to this video at my blog we know the best dot wordpress dot com don't forget to subscribe my videos thank you and have a nice day